part of HID lighting is an inert gas known as xenon. Xenon by itself is a colorless gas and gives off an intense glow when hit by an electrical source. This quality in xenon gas is utilized in a similar fashion to that in halogen-filled light bulbs. Instead of employing a filament, a high-voltage electrical arc is created between electrodes and a collection of metal halide salts pressurized inside a headlamp bulb. This reaction creates the powerful illumination of high-intensity lighting. HID stands for High Intensity Discharge, a term referring to the electric arc that produces the light. Because of the increased amounts of light available from HID bulbs relative to halogen bulbs, HID headlamps producing a given beam pattern can be made narrower than halogen headlamps producing a comparable beam pattern. The xenon gas allows the lamps to produce minimally adequate light immediately upon power up and accelerates the lamps run up time. If argon were used instead, it would take several minutes for the lamps to reach their full output. The light from HID headlamps exhibits a distinct bluish tint when compared with tungsten filament headlamps. HID headlamp bulbs do not run on low voltage DC current so they require a ballast with either an internal or external igniter. An electrical ballast is a device intended to limit the amount of current in an electric circuit. The igniter is integrated into the bulb in D1 and D3 systems, and is either a separate unit or part of the ballast in D2 and D4 systems. The ballast controls the current to the bulb. The ignition and ballast operation proceeds in three stages. 1. Ignition phase. A high voltage pulse is used to produce a spark in a manner similar to a spark plug which ionizes the xenon gas, creating a conducting tunnel between the tungsten electrodes. Electrical resistance is reduced within the tunnel and current flows between the electrodes. 2. Turn on phase. The bulb is driven with controlled load. Because the arc is operated at high power, the temperature in the bulb rises quickly. The metallic salts vaporize, and the arc is intensified and made visually more complete. The resistance between the electrodes also falls. The electronic ballast control gear registers this, and automatically switches to continuous operation. 3. Continuous Operation all metal salts are in the vapor phase, the arc has attained its stable shape, and the luminosity has attained its nominal value. The ballast now supplies stable electrical power, so the arc will not flicker. Stable operating voltage is 85 volts AC in D1 and D2 systems, 42 volts AC in D3 and D4 systems. The frequency of the square wave alternating current is typically 400 Hz, or a bit higher. Initial turn-on voltage is 25,000 volts or higher, so be careful when working with these units. HID headlamps are significantly more costly to produce, install, purchase, and repair. The extra cost of the HID lights may exceed the fuel cost savings through their reduced power consumption, but some of this cost disadvantage is offset by the longer lifespan of the HID bulbs relative to halogen bulbs.